getting all the USB notifications because I messed with the heart rate monitor. Blimp goes to Glitzdale. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. I'm sure that's a remix of something we've heard before. Chapter 3 Of Glitz and Glore Well, that's the Super Mario 3 song. My, 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 Glitzville. I've heard that the Glitz pit is just full of brawny brawls. It wouldn't be a Japanese RPG without a Coliseum type place. Admit the prospect of some hurly burly gets me a touch peaked.
Now, darling, let's find that crystal star on him. The background music is a bit of a bop itself. Hello there, you customer. The aroma of yum in the air is a specialty of Glitzville, Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. I should have got hot dogs for dinner. Dogs are better than the separate mushroom and honeys. Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Crib, the mayor of Pittelburg. House Coops? Who? No, we don't deliver. Hi, brother. Luigi here. How are you holding up? Hi, Mario. This is Punio. Stop by every now and then, will you? Hey kids, this is called a phone booth. They used to exist in the 90s.
Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Phone booths, I haven't seen one in such a long time. I've still seen payphones in the mall and on the ferry. But in general, payphones just stopped being a thing by 2010. I doubt we'll ever be rid of coins. Oh dear me. What a positively glorious venue. Oh, mercy, Mario, look there. Those two brutes are about to have it each other. That right on, on. I think it's about time for you to feel the real luck. Now this is clearly a parody of an actual wrestler. I wouldn't know who. Stay down, Pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mom again.
Kulului Champ. That was a grade A weapon. Your thoughts on the match? You called it a notch. Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can hear me. Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick. Come fight me, bring it. I'll take on anyone. You least might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yang, number one baby, Rakao, is the champ. Gerhard. Oh my word, Mario. On that and Cuthbert's belt. Is that a crystal star? Yes, I do believe it is. That wonderful sparkle is yet another crystal star. need to fight a boss this time. We'll just go up there and ask for it right. such a tawdry place to find it. Why would it be here, of all places? Oh, whatever shall we do? I don't fancy the idea of stealing that fellow's belt. What shall we do, Mario? Well, the honorable thing would be to fight. Oh, you darling, you darling man, I'm so happy to you say that. I'd expect nothing less.
you're ten times the man of anyone here. You'll be champion in no time. I watched a streamer play this part, and it took them like five hours. Let's move on then, shall we? Our next step is to become official fighters, I imagine. Ooh, my heart is positively thumping. Let's find whoever is in charge this minute. Just gonna make the game a little bit louder. That fabulous mustache, I've seen it somewhere before, I know it. Yes, Mayo, that is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before.
No, not that way. What that, bub? You want to become a fighter. Um, well, if you're serious, you'd better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. W went all the way around. What that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Go on in. Mr. Grubba just inside. Who in Tarnation are you, son? And who are you in? This is Grubba Office. Yep, with me, Grubba. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. Huh? You want to be a fighter. Who oh, yeah. we? That do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for a whip and comer.
I know this is supposed to sound like someone, but I keep thinking of that banana-shaped guy from Rick and Morty. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and a to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokies patoot for fancy, big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. I know what I realized, being rich and famous is a giddy dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You ready me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours, exactly. Yep, but the key son, dream big, and you'll get big, that's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all the small dreamers and laugh. You ready me here, son? That's the Sphere Chief here. Let's have a say little walk and talk. See you now.
you leak this card? Just feast your eyes. Go on, this is the champion's room. Isn't it a size? Deluxe, you become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course, but on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no, yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. Watch it then, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. And of course, we aren't shown the other locker room. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Blowing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't it be worth it if there weren't no challenge? I can see you got the fire for a two part. You got the eye of the tiger there.
You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I've never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing, just take a second or two of your time. Just shot your name here, okay. No, I read all adult would read the darn contract. But this is a video game and real world logic gets thrown out the window. You cited the contact. Best thing you ever done, son. Now get Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, pardon? Lots of little punches, a fighter's name. Get me. What's wrong with Mario? Mario? Let me see here. I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzales, who ain't that a beaut? Now, Hidden Decide is 2020, but I wonder how much thought the localizers put into that. Like many of the other characters misnamed Mari. But they say something closer to Maria. Like Marty.
I'm sure it's explained somewhere. Just trying to find the name he used in Japanese. Can't find it. Most of the localization websites just zero in on a different party number. For reasons. Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes round once a lifetime. You just named an Italian-American plumber with a Spanish name. Certain people might read that is racist. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the great Gonzales. Make me proud, son.
Well, now that we got the business side out of the way. Jolin. Could you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, Han. Jolene, this is a great Gonzales, our newest rising star. and take him on down to the minor league locker room alrighty right away sir Mr. Gunsales if you would be so kind please follow me As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubb says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubber releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I'll explain as they become relevant. What a pile. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. Sure doesn't look as sanitary as that major league one. Starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like the stingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Grubbo will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Gumo Bras. Don't you worry about them, they'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son. We want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Liz Jolene. Okay, son. Well, good luck, Pard. Gee, just like Yakuza. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough when Mr. Grubbo's S fight conditions follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you
you can get your rank up to 11 that you'll get a shot at the major league. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzales. Gonzales. Match time. Follow me, Bob. I'll probably not write out the text for the matches because it'll probably auto play any way. Squaring off next, folks are the hoppin' hardheads, the Goomba Bras. Now even a newcomer with a hankerin' for harmorin', the Gria Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros hidden in and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How do you do, Goomba Bros? How are you all feeling today? You ready for a safe fight? How are you all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Huh? Are you kidding, man? We're always our idiot to bonk a fool or two! Huh? Are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two! Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A corky idiot, but who? Waiting just makes us mad.
We're gonna teach this tardy punk hunk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Hot diggity dang, fight fans. There's a great Gonzalez now, stride on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts. Stroll him up late like he owns the place. Who? Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Len, just explain the rules of the match real quick. That's why. What sort of base cowards attack before the match officially begins? Honestly. Come on, Mario, darling. We shan't lose to our lives. Let's teach them a lesson. Oh, quit crying. Well, yeah, that was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where are? Thank you. The great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was this this first taste of victory like? Pick the most quirky antsy. I'll 
I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A weapon. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for it for him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzales. Hickory, watch the first episode of The Good Place and you'll get it. Well, Gonzales, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, fighters gotta play to the crowd, you know, pump them up more. Hoping you'll give me more razzle dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other. Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jenny, he'll give you your fight money. See ya. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gunsales. You got three coins. Mario's ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set up until you select. Reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzales. So pretty much the next nine fights are gonna be semi-random, but repetitive. Here, Rob. How was your first fight, Dad? I'm King K-Man. Just a bush league scrub like you. Get it, King Koopa. Good me 
meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why won't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here's made her crash. Hey, so why won't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here's Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb. As Ms. Jolene was saying, you'd better bomb obey Mr. Grubba conditions. Fork? I'm not sure where the EAS or heard that. I almost dropped my fork. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher ranked foes bomb. If you can clear them, you bomb end up battling a lower ranked fighter bomb. You can't climb the bomb ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel bomb bomb. Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful, Bomb Bomb. Right, right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean with chin over is bandy dandy. Hey. Nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh, 
value. If you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the chance room, though. It doesn't have full star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Clefter. Grack. Clefter no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Clef Dog. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. And? Anyway, that the Cormine Early Crew Man, you need something, ask us. and Mikada eventually square up, so good luck, man. Be right back. <laughs> 